Tasmania is one of the world's most geodiverse places, with rocks ranging in age from the Proterozoic to recent. The unique geology has resulted from multiple episodes of deformation and rifting, felsic and mafic magmatism, and periods of erosion and weathering, reflecting changes in tectonic setting and climate with time. The UNESCO World Heritage Area is a major draw card for tourists and forms a greater part of the 30% of Tasmania that is occupied by national park or reserve. Tasmania's World Heritage Area is one of only two areas in the world which satisfies at least seven of the 10 criteria required for World Heritage listing. Importantly, four of these criteria are directly related to the unique geology and landscape. Significant geological features of the World Heritage Area are listed on the right. These features help to define the World Heritage status, but are also widespread across Tasmania. Together with the Mount Reed Volcanics, extensive tertiary sequences with basaltic volcanic centres, the Ordovician to Devonian sequence of northeast Tasmania, Devonian granite intrusions and rare gems, minerals and fossils, they make Tasmania an ideal place for geotourism. Tasmania receives about 1.3 million visitors per year, with the majority visiting the state to enjoy a holiday in the natural environment. Many current tourist operations provide a basic level of geological interpretation. De Pipuian parks provide interpretation in the World Heritage Area and National Park parks through its websites, visitor centres and track signage. Tour operators conduct boat trips in the Freysenay, Tasman Peninsula, Bruny Island and Gordon River areas, wilderness flights to Melaleuca and guided cave tours. The app Wilderness Railway provides commentary on the mining history in the Queenstown area. There are first class rock displays at many of the local museums. provide the tourists with greater level of geological interpretation. The tourist and national park operations are supplemented by three geo trails and local interpretive brochures and signage. The Created from Chaos Geo Trail was developed by Peter Manchester, shown in the bottom left, in 2004 to highlight the complex Proterozoic to Paleozoic sequences and Cainozoic geology along the northwest coast. This concept was later expanded into a now out of print but highly informative book documenting 100 geosites throughout Tasmania. The Created from Chaos Geo Trail extends along 60 kilometres of scenic shoreline between Devonport's Mersey Bluff and Wynyard's Table Cape and consists of 13 interpretive panels and an information brochure with map. A major upgrade of the geo trail is planned in the next couple of years. The West Coast or Living Earth Geo Trail has been developed to, pr to promote the amazing geodiversity and mining history in the Queenstown to Tulla area in Western Tasmania. The geo trail consists of 15 geosites, six with interpretation panels shown in the bottom left and three overview signs top left at Queenstown, Zeehan and Tulla. Additional information on the other geosites can be found on the Living Earth website. Extra interpretation panels are planned in the future. The GeoTrail highlights aspects of the local geology, including the Cambrian to Ordovician rift development, Devonian granite magmatism, mining history and Cainozoic landscape development. The Ferno Geo Trail highlights the Paleozoic to Cainozoic evolution of the Bass Strait area. Phase one of the project was completed in 2019 and consists of 10 interpretation panels shown on the far right, supported by additional information on the associated website. Phase two of the Geo Trail is currently in development and is due for completion in late 2021. An additional 14 virtual geosites shown in blue on the map are proposed with an additional overview sign to be installed at White Mark. Other notable geotourism projects include the production of an excursion guide to King Island, a non-technical book 
on the geological evolution of Tasmania, and a pamphlet highlighting the geological features of the Tasman Peninsula. A new book describing Tasmanian fossils by Peter Manchester is due for completion in late 2021. Future geotourism projects in Tasmania include the publishing of a statewide database of geosites and the development of a statewide geotourism app. The image on the left is from the prototype app showing the distribution of current geosites in the state. The image on the right is a close-up view showing the selected geosite in Google Earth View. Each site will include a photograph and a general site description with web links for additional information. Despite all best intents, the development of a geotourism project, be it a site-specific interpretation sign or a full geotrail, the physical, legislative and social landscape of Tasmania provides many challenges which need to be overcome during a project. The Tasmanian Geotourism Working Group was established in 2017 to address some of these issues and to further promote geotourism in the state. The group has a wide range of experienced geoscientists from the government, education and private sectors and is facilitated by the GSA, but not restricted to GSA members. Since inception, members of the group have been involved in a diverse range of geotourism projects, some of which have been highlighted in this presentation. Despite a richness in geodiversity, geotourism in Tasmania continues to remain, to remain low key. In recent years, several new projects have been completed, but the full potential of geotourism to the state has yet to be realised. The current projects are opportunistic and largely driven by local champions and unfortunately there is limited integration with regional tourism activities and promotion. Funding for future project development is limited but the state government, federal government and local councils have been supportive. The Geotourism Working Group is a resource to help develop future geotourism projects in the state.